<laughs> primarily to the hampered law enforcement, which in turn has sent the hands of 700,000 mothers to cover their eyes that they no longer may be haunted by the picture of their child in the cell block. It is a terrifying fact to me that many parents must turn to the mirror to find the true reason why their boy or girl has been engulfed in crime. All too often, in the solitude of sorrow, when the heavy hand of law has descended, and I can't, when he first robs a store, when he then engages in a holdup, and when suddenly the terrible news must teach them that the future of America eats at their table and lives in their home and is under their protection, must be made to realize that a home is, after all, a cradle of endeavor. It can be good endeavor or it can be bad endeavor, as the parents care to make it. And we who can think clearly must view the picture of disaster which faces us and consecrate ourselves to the crusade of education, not only for children, but also for parents. Mr. Hoover, we are very grateful to you for that splendid, inspiring address. I think I voiced the sentiment of everybody here when we say that America is proud of you. I shall now read a telegram from... What?